When you're down, my base is good, but my leverage is limited a little bit, especially if I don't know what I'm doing. When I stand, my leverage is very good. It's very hard for him to hold on to me. You can see he's already kind of stretched out. It's really easy to break his grip. The problem is, what have I sacrificed? Base. 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 I've given up base. And so we're not going to deal with down low because that's what we covered most more than anything else. But today we're going to be standing up. And so what you need to understand is when you go to your feet, one, you better have a reason. And two, when you get up, you better protect your base because that's what he's going to be going for. Make sure you have a grip if he has a gi. Because if you stand in the past, you're going to want that anchor. It's going to give you a better base than if you don't. You guys can probably feel that when you guys try to speak it. So I'm going to make sure I have a hold. Usually I do index finger in, and then I'm bracing the hip. Okay, now I'm just going to stand up without setting it up. Holding the hip, holding the upper body, and watch the, the legs. Again, I shift here. Okay? One foot stands and the other one goes out. Why? Because I'm very solid here. If he starts moving his hips around, got a lot of control. Do you see the difference between that and just this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. This foot's really important. Watch how I come toward him. Okay. If I step back and he opens his legs, watch what happens to his hips. And he's got the drop on him. He's gonna, he's gonna sweep me. But when I go to him, watch this. Look where I am. Look where he's at. That's where I want him. And if he's, even if he is a little further away, I'm going to do this. That's where I want to fight him. And you don't have to lift him with your hands. You, you see my hands didn't do anything? It's my butt. Put him right there. He's got very little he can do from this position. One of the best ways to keep him from grabbing ankles, doing knee bars, doing double legs, is that when he reaches up, or if he doesn't, I grab his sleeve. Even if he has your collar, you can do this. But for now, let's do it this way. We'll see. He's not holding on. I'm just going to reach up and grab his sleeve. And I'm going to stand up the exact same way. Why? Because even if he drops his hips and grabs my ankles, he can only grab one ankle. Switch, pass, and I'm gone. And so this is a great little trick. Now, why don't we show this usually early on? Because you'll rely on the wrist. You won't learn the proper hip movement and how to control his hips. And he still has options. I mean, even if I've got the sleeve, he's got that omoplata sweep. If he kicks here, yeah, he passes, he's got me. So, if you want to use this, that's great, but don't forget, don't rely on this little wrist grip. Now, what if he does get his butt down and he goes for the ankle grab sweep? I've got that base back. He's my anchor. A couple things to watch for at this point. Omoplata sweep, remember this one? Yeah, there we go. That's what we got to watch for. And a knee bar. If he does get his hips down here and he drops his leg, he can knee bar me here for star sweep. Okay. So all those require him to go to his side. If it, I control his hips, bring him to here and he tries to go to his side. You ever see that? Okay, now I can start to straighten up. And that's how I break his guard. I don't care if he's holding on to me or not. If he's down, I can leave him behind and break. Or if he's holding on tight and he starts to come with me, pick him up. And it'll break really, really easy. What we don't want to do is let him come all the way up. You understand that? We don't want to do this. And get into this little battle. <laughs> so if he comes up, he only comes to here. Stand up toward him. Be aggressive as you step forward. Pinch his hips and straighten up. Keep him there. If he tries to sit up, right there. Because you let him any higher than that, not only can he grab you, he can stand up and then throw you. You gotta keep your shoulders down. The places that this move's gonna break down, we'll show you how to fix some of those, okay? Number one is right here at the beginning. As I come to here, he buckles me his hips and his hands. That's gonna be your first major breakdown. If that happens, your, your ankle, angle wasn't right. Your head wasn't up, this hand's angle was too deep. You can see if I stand now, he almost wrist locked me, right? So I want this hand out a little bit when I'm gonna stand up near his sternum. Control his hips, and I'm really gonna arch my spine so that when I do this, he wants to pull. My hand really is going into his throat, almost like a squeeze the bread. So the harder he pulls, the more pressure on him. Now it's not gonna help him anymore. You see that? 
Down here, if I went that high, I'd get arm bars because my hips are too low. But when you stand, that's not as much of a danger. So again, I'm here. Make sure your spine's right and go one. And have your partner pull. Hips, arms, everything. Make sure you can hold this position. Second one is that they beat you because you don't control their hips well enough. Right here. And they let go. And that's just a matter of keeping your knees pinched and feeling where it's at. So again, we go one. My partner pulls. Now I'm okay. Then this knee is going to almost kick you in the butt. Boom. Use your hips to bring him back. Now, when you stand up, okay, if you're, if you're Julie, for example, and you've got Mark or one of us for you guys, and you try to do this, that's going to be hard. Watch this. See that? You drop your hips, and then just stand up. It's going to be a lot easier. 